Hi everyone, I'm Jodie Comer and I am here with Harper's Bazaar and we are going to take a look inside my beauty bag. My mother definitely taught me that with beauty, consistency is key. I remember from such a young age, she would always be moisturizing her face and her full body. Like whenever she got out of the shower, it was always like a ritual of hers that she always stuck to. I wish I practiced it as much as her but that is something that I definitely um, remember about my mother and her beauty regime. The best piece of beauty advice I've been given is always wash your face of an evening when you've had makeup on. I definitely in my teens didn't practice that and now it's the first thing I do. Doesn't matter how late it is. Also water, I think lots of H2O is a good beauty tip because it's from the inside out. Okay, now let's look in the back. So first up, I'm gonna start with brows because they're like the most important thing for me, I feel. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Styling Wax. Val Garland is here today and she did my makeup and she's like the OG of beauty um, and she actually introduced me to this product. So if you have big, beautiful brows that need taming, this is a really good product and I always use it with one of these kind of little eyebrow brushes. So yeah, that's number one. If I'm doing bare minimum, which is honestly what I do when I'm doing my own makeup because I am pretty lazy, it's always got to be an eyebrow gel. I can do anything once my eyebrows are lifted and stuck. <laughs> then I would do a little eyelash curl, I would do my Maiden Firm blush on the lip as well, um, and concealer, definitely some concealer because I have quite dark under the eye area. Number two, my Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers. I am really, really lazy with makeup generally. So if I don't have mascara, I always find that the guy, these guys do the trick. They have an amazing, amazing curl. So yeah, they're really handy to have if you don't have a product in your bag. I think beauty and makeup definitely helps you get into character, that along with um, costume, you know? Sometimes your characters um, have a completely different style to you or they express themselves differently. Um, for instance, a role I recently just done um, called Help. There's a young woman called Sarah and she wore a lot of mascara, like heavy, heavy layers of mascara. And that was something that really helped me um, get into character with her. So it's, it's always fun to express yourself in a different way. So next product is my Noble Panacea Overnight Recharge Cream. A night cream that you put on your face has a beautiful consistency and you really can notice the difference when you wake up in the morning, your skin's super hydrated and recharged. So this is definitely always in my travel bag. I think the lockdown and kind of stepping away from makeup for a little while really made me appreciate my skin care routine a lot more. Like even just getting up in the morning and doing that routine just to kind of make me feel like I was, I had some sort of routine. Now I definitely tend to buy less products and kind of have my holy grail that I stick with. Next product, oh, okay. This is a new introduction to this brand and I hope I pronounce it correctly, but I think it's Ela Pothecary. And this is a Speak Your Truth Pulse Point Aroma Roller. It has the most beautiful smell and I've got into the habit of like putting this on my wrists and my neck before events and interviews and stuff. Like it, it just smells divine and it immediately calms me and it's just like my kind of little stepping stone into centering myself. I also sometimes like to carry Palo Santo with me and you burn that, clear the energy around the place. Honestly, they all just smell delicious and immediately kind of bring you back to the ground when you're kind of nervous or stressed. Oh, okay, this is one of my favorite products. Living Libations, and it's the Maiden Fern Blushing Balm. And I found this on Goop, and it like gives you like the most natural blush like you're embarrassed about something. And I love it. And you can also kind of pat it on your lips as a nice natural colored lip balm. Best makeup trick that I've ever learned on set was from Alex Babsky. And I was asking him how to do like the perfect little cat eyeliner because I'm really bad at it and it always ends up like up here. <laughs> so he said, always look directly into the mirror and actually start from the center of your eye and go outwards as opposed to starting here and then going in. And I found that actually really works for me. 
Something that makes me feel made up instantly, I think is a good bold lip. Like I think it immediately can elevate your look and I actually have the perfect lip palette in my beauty bag. And it's by Westman Atelier and it is like a rouge, um, a rouge lip palette. And it's so beautiful, it has the most amazing colors in it and you can mix them or you can use them on your own and I usually like to just dab my finger and blot it. It's like a, a flush of color. One beauty trend I wish I hadn't have done. I remember when like contour and highlighting came in pretty strong and I remember I used to do like a triangle of concealer, big line of contour, and I used to draw these lines around my face. That was one, I've had many. I also used to fill my eyebrows in way too much. I also plucked my eyebrows way too much. Also cut off all my hair when I was 15, like to here. I don't really wanna talk about that one though. So we've come a long way um, <laughs> on my beauty journey. So after, dissing contouring and highlighting a little bit. Um, I'm now going to bring out my contour and my highlight kit. But this is very, very natural. And again, it's from Kevin Aquan. And I love the contour powder because it's very natural and it's cool. It's not very warm. So that's also good for, for elevating the look. So this is my next product and it's, it's the Harry Josh hair clips. And, and these clips are just really handy for clipping your hair back when you're washing your face or you're doing your makeup. You know, when he's doing all the supermodels, they always wear them, so you kind of feel like a supermodel when you're in your own bathroom. So, yeah. So my next product, again, is Noble Panacea, and this is the Radiant Resilience Moisturizer. And this cream is so incredible, and I feel like the consistency of this cream is amazing. There's enough product to cover your face and your neck and your chest, and it's not sticky, it doesn't evaporate, you know, you can really feel it on the top of your skin. And they're in these handy little packages so you can travel everywhere with them. So yes, that's my other product. I think my view on beauty has changed massively. I think now beauty to me like means comfort, means feeling happy, content, feeling like myself. You know, I used to wear a lot of makeup, whereas now I feel more comfortable wearing less makeup, looking after myself in a, in a different way. So I think it's probably become a lot, a lot simpler. So my next product is this blue clay powder and it's from Costa Rica, from the rainforest there. I've basically been there a couple of times on holiday and it's such a beautiful place. And this stuff is so good for inflammation on your skin or spots or any sort of irritation. And it lasts forever. You just mix it with a little bit of water and it reminds me of, of being there. So it's always nice to have on hand. And then last but not least, Again, another item from Elipothecary, and this is a Beat the Blues room spray. Transformative blend of essential oils now to help clear an atmosphere and create a peaceful and uplifting place, space. Um, and it smells amazing. You've got to be careful not to get it in your eyes. Um, this is lovely before bed or again, just to bring a little bit of calm into your space. My signature scent is Santel 33 by La Labo. The story of that is I was working with someone years ago who wore it and I thought it was delicious, so I copied her and now it's mine. <laughs> it was crazy because whenever she'd been in a lift, I'd always known where she'd been in the hotel or in the vicinity because I always smelt her before I saw her and I always loved that. And I think it smells differently on everyone, but it's like sandalwood, which I, I love. I think in the past year, I just really realized what is actually important. Maybe not to care as much what people think. It's just to really um, take care of what's important um, and make sure I give that um, space and time within my life when the world picks back up and it gets chaotic again. And yeah, I would say that. So yes, that was what is inside my beauty bag and I hope it was fruitful i hope you enjoyed it um and yeah enjoy the products if you want to find them and thank you for watching <laughs>